And then now it came out yesterday that they're looking at indicting him for child porn. Well, I had that from the NYPD. They, that came out yesterday? Yes. Wow. Why, what, what did he do? He had something on his computer? Well, now uh, the, they won't tell us, but I was told that tied into that whole Pizzagate thing. Which, again, the media misrepresented what we said and did. It came out in all those WikiLeaks, all these weird codes, okay? Talk like, they, there was a bunch of weird codes about pizza and about well, a piece of pizza. President Obama wants sixty uh, five thousand dollars in hot dogs delivered. And they're like, are these really good hot dogs? The hot dogs weren't as good last time. Well, these are succulent hot dogs. Okay, yeah. so that's not about kids. That's, uh, that's <laughs> How retarded do you have to be? Well, what is that about? It, it's, it's male prostitutes. I mean, that's what the code means. Really? Yeah, okay, yes. How do they get male prostitutes to, to keep their fucking mouth shut? Well, because, you know, bad things happen if you don't. Federal child porn charges possible for Anthony Weiner. <sighs> but, but I'm on record months ago. I'm on record months ago saying that that's the case because I had those sources. And so the government, good elements of the government, know what's really going on. So the media then misrepresented and said, oh, look at 4chan. They're talking about a thing called Pizzagate in some pizza place in D.C. Then the media looks at it and says, oh, Alex Jones is claiming all this bad stuff's happening at this pizza place. I'm like, what is this? So they divert to some probably innocent pizza place to distract off of all the emails that the, that the New York police have and the FBI have that's just this monstrous reported pedophile network. So to discredit that, they go create a fake story hoping we jump on it to then divert over to that story. And then once we're on that, it diverts everybody off from Anthony Weiner. What? Which then leads <laughs> reportedly, which leads reportedly Hold to on. a larger network. So they're playing that far ahead. So they're they're literally attacking a pizza place with fake stories just so that people can focus on that and take attention off Anthony Weiner. Yes, because Why it was connected they? to that story. It was yeah. connected to Podesta, to, to, to stuff in D.C. Pastor. and New York, yeah. and all this other crazy stuff. So I'm well, not let's, saying because we're making a lot of like long sentences here and a lot of long statements. So here's so what let's, I'm saying. But let's let's. For a lot of people that are going, what the fuck is Pizzagate? There was this Ben Swan guy who did this uh, recent piece about it, and a lot of people got very angry. Did you see the piece? Yes. Did you see the piece that he did? It seemed to me to be pretty measured, and he was making some connections to between that little, that, that symbol for child pedophilia. Yes. And, uh, or just pedophilia, right? right? And um, the, the, pizza, the logo for the pizza place. He also made, did he make the Hastert connection with Podesta? Well, I mean, Hastert... Uh, confirmed child molester and, and and best buddies with Podesta and former Speaker of the House and then you expand on that right, but let's let's just do it step at a time because okay. this is really kind of important stuff so that's all 100% true right so it's true that Hastert's in jail it's true that Hastert is a known pedophile that a judge called a serial pedophile right yes that's true is 100% it's true that Podesta was friends with Hastert that's 100% right yes and then all this other stuff now becomes odd doesn't it become odd and but if you say it's odd if you look at it this Ben Swan guy with this what I thought was he was just kind of expressing what is weird about this case and when he did it he got so much shit over it I was kind of shocked I was kind of shocked people were calling him a moron and well, listen, I got the same thing but but that's what I'm saying they build a straw man right. so imagine thousands of emails come out with them talking about we'll have the kids ready Six, seven, and eight in the hot tub at this time, and they're. You I know, didn't see anything like that. Oh, it gets it gets really where, crazy. Where did it say that? It was well, in the emails. emails. There's freaking thousands of them. But it said we'll get the kids in the hot tub. Yes, I never saw that. Can you can you see if you could find that, Jamie? That seems like that's just the whole thing is so bizarre. It's like we're gonna have the kids delivered for entertainment. They'll be in the hot tub. Now these are great kids, but kids can be kids. Well, you know what's fucked up about it is how few people really mention that connection to Hastert. I would have thought that would be a huge, huge constant. Well, Joe, I love the fact 